Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Your referee is Carol James. Involved in the Anarchy Rules main event, Pink was parted away on a stretcher. This year, he's looking for a little different result at the end of tonight's match. A tough task to hoe gets his opponent. Ago. Michael Judas was on the verge of becoming number one contender. And look at Wilson. Wilson with the distraction. Judas trying to get to him. And Tank, who we haven't seen here in about a year. The look may be slightly different, but I assure you that the strong style psychotics are still in full effect for this member of the Devil's Rejects. Well, Greg Hunter, while you were in the ring for introduction, I was reminding the fans that it was at this very event one year ago that Tank was carted off. We didn't see him for almost four months when he returned at a hostile environment at Wargate. And until last week when he cost Michael Judas the main event here at Hardcore Health. We hadn't seen Tank since June of last year. And he came back. And right now, he's coming back huge, taking it right to Judas, kind of where he left off last week here on Anarchy Television. The strong style psycho makes his way into the ring. He has been traveling across the country, as I'm sure the Reverend would say, doing the devil's work. But right now, Michael Shoot is trying to fire back Tank with a rake of the eyes. And now, dropping that weight across the neck of Michael Judas. I went by the last recorded weight, trying to get a reject on a scale for a weigh-in. Oh, Judas had his hands on Wilson for just a split second. They're fighting now on the arena floor. Well, you know something, Greg Hunter? When Tank made his return last week, the lights went out. This blonde-headed behemoth was in the ring. I didn't know who it was. I tried to stay on top of these things. It wasn't until I read the tights that it was Tank that it clicked. I mean, he's saying he's changed his look so drastically, but he hasn't changed the style. Unless you want to say maybe he's gotten a little bit more brutal. And now he has Michael Judas at the corner. Judas puts on the brakes and now pulls Tank head first into the steel ring post. If it was, oh, good grief. He does it again. If it wasn't the name on the side of the attire, then definitely the choke breaker he delivered would be ample indication. And now Michael Judas kicking the steps into the side of Tank using them as a weapon against the strong style psycho. As I was trying to say earlier, we announced Tank at his last recorded weight here at Anarchy, which is 329, but he holds every bit of 370 standing in that ring right now. And he is certainly a match size and strength wise with Michael Judas. I would give, I would give the mean streak 
honestly, and the penchant for violence to tank. He is a deathmatch specialist, but Michael Judas is agile. He is fast. The man can fly. He can come at you from so many different directions. That's why he was the longest reigning Anarchy Heavyweight Champion ever in eight months. Well, Greg Hunter, the thing about it is I did some, you know, some research, and I try to keep you know, tabs on people. Pink has been competing in some of the most brutal deathmatch tournaments around the country and also you know, has, you know, stepped over outside the United States bounds to go into some of these matches. And the thing about it is, I mean, what I'm seeing here is definitely a different, you know, a, a more of a killer edge from Pink. And we know what he was like when he was here before. I mean, this right here could be spelled bad news for Michael Judas. It's already spelled bad news for Michael Judas. It spelled bad news a week ago when it kept him out of the main event here tonight. Tank returned to help his longtime tag team partner and friend, Iceberg. And right now, with the staff of righteousness, Dan Wilson choking out Michael Judas. Any advantage that the rejects can get, they'll take. They've done it time and time again. Well, Greg Hunter, it was August of 2005 when we first heard the rumbling of the rejects. It was at Fright Night that same year that we first seen this team. And during that time, Michael Judas, whose kick had no effect on Tank, on the low line. But during that time, Michael Judas, then known as Michael Ager, was reigning as Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. So, I mean, these guys have really come full circle here in Anarchy over the last three years. Big double clothesline. Both men are down. Referee Harold James administering his count at the count of five. We see signs of life. Michael Judas sits up. I was going to say, my God, did you see that scar on Tank's arm? Good grief. War wounds to be sure. On the strong style psycho, he too on his feet, both men on a vertical base, now trading leather. A measure of toughness here, trying to see what each other has. Tank has not encountered Michael Judas since he was overseas in Puerto Rico, since this drastic change. Michael Judas has not encountered Tank since he has traveled around the country. And right now it's a question of who buckles first under this very physical assault. Well, both these men are very physical athletes in the ring. Both these men can be very deadly. And right now, Michael Judas has the advantage on Tank. And that huge Pokemon finally takes Tank off his feet. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes the rejects. Here come the Anarchy Tag Team Champions. Osriel deposited on the floor. Sean Tempers deposited on the floor. Tank, choke breaker. The choke breaker from the Strong Style Psycho, too. And Michael Judas just kicked out of the choke breaker and Tank can't believe it. I got to question the tactics of sending the rejects into this match. I know it's important to get a win here in Anarchy, but the tag team title will be on the line shortly, and you're seeing the champions in there, and they get deposited by Michael Judas. This can play in the favor of the Austin faction later on. Belly to back suplex, and very nearly a three count. Literally one inch between Harold James' hand and the ring canvas. And now, Reverend Dan Wilson, is looking over his troops. I can't tell from here what they're plotting or planning. Well, they're taking a lot of time, Greg Hunter. That's the oh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. A chair. A chair brought to the ring now. And to make it two. Weapons, a forte three. Good grief. Weapons, a forte of the Devil's Rejects and Tank in particular. Michael Judas in a bad way. Tank finds chairs to his liking and is now in the process of setting those chairs up, moving the furniture around in some way that he sees fit. Michael Judas still feeling the effects of the choke breaker and that belly to back suplex. Well, the referee gonna let this one go here. I mean, the chairs are set up. He's not doing anything to stop it. He's begging with them not to use it. And now Michael Judas seated in one of those chairs. I think the smartest thing referee Harold James could do is let this go. Go, oh, go in, the mist, the mist! He, that's the red mist, Greg Hunter. And that's gotta, that's gonna affect Hank's vision right there. He is beating down the strong style 
now Psycho! Big kick, lays Tank across both chairs. Michael Judas, Michael Judas is looking on. This man has some sort of plan in my, oh my good Lord. Michael Judas, got him buddy! Double stomp on the chairs, hook to the leg, that'll do it. Michael Judas with a very definitive explanation point on his 12th annual Hardcore Hell. Well, Greg Hunter, Michael Judas using that red mitt, we've seen that before. He's hit Iceberg with it. He's blind Tank. Tank falls into the two chairs he's set up for himself. Michael Judas is sending up huge double stomps. Takes out Tank. And Tank having to be restrained by the Reverend Dan Wilson. Greg Hunter, we're just getting underway. We've got some more huge action coming up here. And how much bigger can it get than that? The Bunkhouse match, one-on-one. -on -one, Jeremy Vane faces off against our boss, Jerry Palmer. Palmer picked the match, and Rob Adonis will be handcuffed to the ring. Folks, that's next as the 12th Annual Hardcore Hell continues. Not my ball. Sign your text on it. 